The massive thefts of funds in government ministries, estimated in billions of shillings and perpetuated largely through information technology platforms, are posing a challenge to investigators. We've always got problems in investigating because our personnel have not been having enough capacity to do that. So that is the, uh, the gap we are trying to fix so that we have uh, the personnel with the capacity to penetrate all these uh, very modern and uh, advanced technological systems which are in many cases used for theft of uh, government money. A cross-section of financial institutions without giving any specific amounts of the losses that they incur through cyber-related crime admit the impact their business is widening. The actual status can't be determined yet because every organization would want to provide to, to secure its image. So even if organizations are hit, they will not come out uh, to the public and say we are being hit. What they do is to put the internal controls around that. This development is now prompting the law enforcement agency to quickly improve the capacity of its investigative machinery in order to tame the vice. The training of today involves police, involves the NSSF, uh, it involves uh, officials from the uh, Minister of Finance and uh, uh, some officers from banks like uh, Post Bank and uh, Orient Bank. But independent anti-fraud experts insist that apart from strengthening the post-cybercrime investigative aspects, solutions that stop the abuse of online-related transactions need to be effected. But if you go to, to at the prosecution, you find that the, the adoption of digital forensics, even at the judiciary level, has been low. So meaning that there is weaknesses in the prosecution of people who are involved in committing crime. Now, this is the big challenge. Because fraudsters know they are not going to be caught. The Prime Minister's office, the Ministry of Public Service, telecom firms and commercial banks have all lately been on the line, counting losses to taxpayers and shareholders as a result of cyber crime. Reina Urgen, NTV Tonight.